territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gun Smoke, presented by Army in Europe magazine, a monthly feature magazine for the use of a soldier and civilian. Gun Smoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Mr. Dillon, 
like this is the best time of the whole day. I agree, Chester. Dodge does look better in the dark, doesn't it? Well, yes, sir, but it ain't only that. Things quiet down about this time of night. Folks goes to bed and kindly put their meanness away for a while. <laughs> oh, maybe some of them do. Yeah, dust gets a chance to settle the breeze comes in off the prairie all fresh and cool. The stars comes out and the moon. Wait a minute. One Wait a minute, Chester. What's the matter? I thought I heard something. Heard you hear that? It sounds like somebody groaning. Yeah, come on. Somebody laying away on the ground. Let's strike a match, Chester. Yes, sir. And then... Why, that's Wally Sturt. Yeah. Looks like he's coming around. Wally. Uh, Wally. Matt Dillon, are you all right? Wally. Can you hear me, Wally? Uh, Marshal? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. Somebody hit me back to the head. Oh, who was it? I don't know. I was in the long branch playing poker. And I come out and I started down the street for my money. Where's my money? I had more than a hundred dollars I won in that poker game. Well, the way your pockets is turned inside out, I doubt you've got it now. Somebody was laying for me out here in the dark. It sure looks that way. I know it better than to stop and talk to her. Talk to who? Gina Preble. She stopped me and started making up to me. And then somebody slugged you from behind. That's right. And it's happened around her before. Gina knows a lot of little tricks like that. You mean she set me up for it? Like a possum up a tree. Hey, you think you can stand up, Willie? Yeah, I think so. Come on, give me a hand. Hey, I bet the man that done it's that fellow she's been hanging around with lately. What fellow? I don't know, some young whippersnapper calls himself Bravo. <laughs> Who 
kill me. He said he'd kill me if I told anybody. Who's going to kill you now? What are you talking about? I didn't want nothing to do with him, Bravo. Honest, I didn't. I was scared to death when I heard he was back. And then he found me and he threatened me. You mean Big Red, huh? He'll kill me if he knows I told you. You know where he is now? Yeah. You rotten little sneak. You didn't know him, Bravo. He's tough and, he, and he's mean. And you're just a kid and I didn't want you to get hurt. Get out of here, Chester. Jim. Take her outside. Huh? Yes, sir. Come on, miss. Bravo, get out. Go on, Gina. I'll be out in a minute. All right, Marshal. You know, you pushed me just as far as you're going to, Marshal. Now you made it, so I'll be a laughing stock all over town. You shouldn't have taken up with a girl like her, Bravo. And you shouldn't have been born. I'm going to prove that to you, Marshal. It's the last thing I ever do. You know, Bravo, the next time you make a move toward that gun of yours, it probably will be the last thing you ever do. You're going to pay, Marshal. You're going to pay plenty. I'll show you what I am. You don't have to show me, Bravo. I already know. something to remember me by. I just killed Big Red. What? I shot him through the cell window. Just like a setting prairie dog. You crazy fool. Now, I'm going to put on a show for the boys at the Long Branch. I'm going to make their marshal dance for them. I've given you all the chance I'm going to, Bravo. You had your last warning. Ain't you forgot something, Marshal? This is a gun I'm holding in your back. Now start walking. Just keep walking, Marshal. You're heading down a rough road, Bravo, and this is about your last chance to turn back. Straight ahead. You're a fool, kid. Don't you call me, kid. Not after what I'm doing tonight. Go on. Inside. Hey, well, good. We got a nice big crowd. Hello, Max. I didn't expect you back tonight. Huh? Stay clear of him. He's got a gun. What? Run along, girlie. Maybe I'll find time for you later. Look, Bravo. I, I didn't mean what I said the other night. Why don't you let him go? Peter. Huh? Look, you and me can get out of here when we go somewhere and we can talk. Or I know what you're up to. Now, beat it. You better do what he says, Kitty. All right, man. Straight ahead, Marshal. Right out in the middle of the floor. We want them all to get a good look at this. I'm going to show 
them something they won't forget. Oh, that. Now, this ought to do real fine. Listen, everybody. Listen, I got something to show you, man. You all know this man. But I bet you didn't know he could dance, now, did you? I got the marshal right where I want him. You know something? He don't even look halfway big no more. All right, stay back, everybody. He just killed Big Red. You all thought I was a kid. Well, what do you think now? I still think it, Bravo. And a scared one to boot. You shut up, Marshal. You killed Big Red, but why don't you tell him how? He shot him through the cell window, and Big Red didn't have a gun. That's how brave this kid is. Stop calling me that. And he ambushed me, hid in the dark, and stuck a gun in my back. You're sure asking for it, Marshal. Go ahead and shoot, kid. You wanted to prove something to him, that'll prove plenty. An unarmed man in the back. You're a sneaking yellow coward, Bravo. You shut up. You want them to remember you? They will, all right. They'll hang a name on you before you even get out of town. Shot two men in the back because he was afraid to stand up and call them. I ain't afraid. All right, prove it then. You put my gun back in the holster and you stand up and face me. You think I'm crazy? No. I just think you're scared. And so does everybody else here. That's a lie. Well, look at him. Can't you tell? All right. All right, there's your gun. Don't you turn around. Not till I get across the room. Don't you move till I get over here. And I'll tell you when. Now, Bravo? Sure. You're keeping your own gun in your hand? Sure I am. You got one in your holster now. So you can't say I'm killing an unarmed man. All right. That's the way you want it. Don't move yet, Marshal. Bravo. You're under arrest for murder. Now you drop that gun. Not hardly. <laughs> and directed by Norman MacDonald. Stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Featured in the cast were Parley Bear as Chester, Howard McNear as Doc, and Georgia Ellis as Kitty. George Walsh speaking. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story on Gunsmoke. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.